Okay. Um, oxalic acid, um, if uh, 0.147 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate is neutralized by 23.64 of sodium hydroxide, what is the molar concentration of the NaOH? Okay. So, our oxalic acid um, is going to um, is going to uh, dissolve into the solution and if we add it with water is going to give us um, H C2O4 uh, minus um, plus H3O plus uh, I'm just going to scroll that down a little bit uh, but it's a, a diprotic acid um, yeah so it's, that's given in the questions so it's a diprotic acid so then we also have HC2O4 minus going to um, C2O4 2 minus and I'll just add these okay and uh, plus H2O plus okay and then um, for our NaOH solution we um, NaOH is a strong base, so NaOH is going to completely dissociate into Na plus plus OH minus. And now, if we go through and sum up, um, we would want to sum it up, but um, we're producing uh, two moles of H3O plus and only one mole of OH minus so that's not going to neutralize so we would want two times this or two NaOH goes to two Na plus plus two OH minus and so um, we can go through and sum up these our full reaction here and get uh, H2C2O4 aqueous um, and I'm just going to write the reactant side right now so plus H2O4 minus plus 2H2O liquid aqueous uh, I guess the C2 here. So I'm just going to erase just so I don't make it too messy. HC2O4 um, and 2NaOH. So that's the reactant side. And then the product side um, is going to be HC2O4 minus plus C2O4 2 minus and we're going to get uh, two H3O pluses two OH minuses and two Na pluses now our H3O plus and OH minus are going to combine to give us two wa uh, four waters, so that's four H2O. Okay, and also we can cancel. We should cancel all things that are the same on both sides, so that will go. And we can cancel two of these waters, and so then in the end we're going to have H. 
2C2O4 uh, plus 2NaOH gives us uh, C2O4 2 minus solid um, plus 2Na plus plus 2H2O okay so um, so that would be the the final chemical equation So now, um, or uh, so that would be in solution. I suppose we could use the um, the di uh, the dihydrate notation as well, and so it would just as similarly be um, H two C two O four. to C2O4 uh, 2 minus plus uh, 2 Na plus plus uh, 4 water in this case but as water is is our solvent uh, <laughs> having 4 water on the on the right doesn't really change the, the water concentration um, okay so that would be our uh, our balanced chemical equation, and so uh, getting back to uh, the question, um, if we have uh, zero point one four seven grams of our oxalic acid, and it's neutralized by uh, 23.64 mils of sodium hydroxide uh, what is the molar concentration so our mass that's our volume our molar mass in this case is 126.07 okay um, and so, uh, and we have a volume of NaOH that's added to completely balance this, or to, to give us a neutral solution. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, first we need to find the number of moles of, of our oxalic acid that we've added. So that would be uh, the mass over the molar mass, which would be 0 0.147 grams over 126.07 grams per mole and if we run this through our calculator uh, we get 1.166 1 times 10 to the minus 3 uh, moles uh, okay and then um, so if we look at our balanced equation um, it takes two moles of NaOH per one mole of our oxalic acid. So that means that the number of moles of our NaOH is twice that, uh, is two times this value that we just calculated. So that would be two times 1.166. Which is 2.3. 3, 2 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. Um, so our volume that we've added is the 23.64. And so it wants to know what the concentration is. And so that's just uh, the number of moles over the volume.
and uh, concentration is typically in moles per liter so we'll want to convert our mils here so it's a thousand milliliters per liter and then if we do it this way the mils cancel so that means that's the correct way and so we get 9.86 times 10 to the minus 2 uh, moles per liter or um, or in units that are that are more typically seen, uh, 9.86 times 10 to the minus 2 uh, molar. Okay, <clears throat> so if we check through our solution here, um, get the number of moles. It's about it's double that, so 2.332. Um, divide by the volume with the proper unit conversion and we get 0 0.0986 molar or 9.86 times 10 to the minus 2. So that looks good. And yeah, if we check our balanced chemical equation, it's the same. The only, um, uh, the only thing is he joined the sodium uh, with the C2O4, which is fine. Um, and I guess there's a 2 missing on the NaOH, but it's being taken into account down here. So I, I think that's just a, a mistake. Um, 2 is missing NaOH in balanced equation. So I'll just put that there. <clears throat> 